Stanton, we leave you with a good impressionist, that unusual and versatile broadcasting impersonator, Clifford Stanton. Before my visit to Moscow, the Russians had already told us about their losses of aluminium and warned us that they would uh, ask for uh, considerable quantities at the Moscow conference. In order to uh, prepare us for uh, shocks beforehand, they let us know how much, and there was a lot. And I'm glad to tell you there was a lot. That lot could be turned into a lot of airplanes. Those airplanes could uh, beat up the Bosch. When Stalin showed joy, pleasure, satisfaction, relief, and being told that he could have all the aluminium pressure required, a great feeling of burden appeared to fall from his shoulders. Now, for my part, I'm convinced the day of vengeance is at hand, the day of darkness and gloom in Germany, the day of wrath, the day of cloud and thick darkness. Now, from politics to pictures, I expect most of you in the audience have seen some of those uh, adventures of Andy Hardy. Well, here is Mickey Rooney in one of those heart-to-heart -heart talks with his father we know so well. Gee, Dad, you don't know how much I appreciate these man-to-man -man talks. All my life I've tried to be a big man and, well, it's taken me just five minutes to find out I'm on your heel. Honest, I'll never make the same mistakes again, but as well. You said yourself, all men go through various stages and well from now on, I'm through with women. Yeah, sure, why not? There's nothing to it. Yeah, you know, Dad, women to me are like elephants. Yeah, all right to look at, but well, I wouldn't like to own one. Yeah, well, Dad, I, I gotta be going now. I gotta date with Polly and well, you know how it is with women. <laughs> yeah, gee, Dad, sorry, gosh, there I go again. I guess I'll never grow up. Now, here's a very dynamic personality indeed, Mrs. Trinder's favorite son, Tommy. Well, folks, the baby's tricked off. T-R-I-N-D, I'll pronounce Tommy, and I'm going to sing to you. Ha-ha, <laughs> you lucky people. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear that? Ha-ha, <laughs> called you ladies and gentlemen. I'm always kidding. I was coming along in my car. Ha-ha, <laughs> he's got a car. Do you want any petrol? I stepped to home guard. He said, Hall. I said, who goes there? He said, ha-ha, don't be silly, I've got to say that. Well, folks, that's all for now. Cheerio, chin chin. Well, now, there's an old saying, once a lady, always a lady. Oh, well, here is one such lady, and what a lady, Dougie Bing. Well, here I am. I'm rather late. I feel all hot and clammy. I've had tea at the vicarage and had to change my cami. I'm known as Miss Fitz, all because I'm meaty round the brisket. Folks point and say that girl's the cheese who fairly takes the biscuit. I feel so gay, I'll sing a song. It's lively like St. Vitus. And if my words appear too thick, just call it laryngitis. I'm Black Aunt Bella, the brightest girl in town. Me motto's be prepared and keep the maids well aired. And if I'm propped up in a porch, don't you dare to flash your torch. And Black Aunt Bella, the brightest girl in town. Woo!